have a star-studded performance for you. congratulate Mr. Cottrell uh, on behalf of just all the black people in this country. Uh, I remember uh, back in the 40s, I was 94 years old. Now, you see what his care, care, uh, care the products have done for me? I'm 94 years old. I'm doing uh, <laughs> I, remember, I remember that um, my father was in the Army at that time. Um, they're, they didn't have places where they can go get things for their hair and stuff like that, pomades and stuff. So the Army Air Force um, Exchange Services allowed um, that this, this to come to pass for Mr. Cottrell to bring his products to African Americans in the service. Uh, we needed it. I mean, could you possibly find something that could take care of ashy fingers? Like, anyway, um, Mr. Cottrell, you and your brother, did, your brother, is, he had a joke. He owes me five dollars. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just wanted to ask him how you guys are doing with that uh, witness protection program for you. Let me just get serious here again. I'm sorry. I'm just so delighted that I have an opportunity to thank him. And I thought I might just kid him a little bit too. Because what he's done, he's done a job, a beautiful job. He's done it beautifully to make us beautiful. And uh, uh, the black manufacturer uh, that uh, understands, this This is a black man who understands that we need things and he found out that we had a need and so he went out and uh, supplied that need. I mean he has distribution in Paris, Italy, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, I mean he's got it in the Caribbean, Brazil, Switzerland, uh, Switzerland, no I don't think we're in Switzerland, <laughs> we're in Canada though. So. Mr. Cottrell, congratulations to you. My name is Art Evans. Um, my work, on behalf of my workshop here, uh, we'd like to thank you because all of us have used your products. You know, I didn't know that 90% of the African Americans were living in Texas. Yeah, no, hey, I went to Prairie View a and University. All right, Prairie View, thank you so very much. Congratulations to Comer Cottrell, founder of ProLine Corporation, and those marvelous products that do so much for our hair. Uh, Comer, we just want to thank God for you, for the vision you have for your company, and how it blesses the African American community and the rest of the world. We're glad that it's had this kind of success for you that allows you to make a difference in historically black colleges and education for numbers and numbers of students. Congratulations uh, on the uh, Paul Quinn College. And I just want to share with you today that it's, uh, it really is kind of a shame that now that you're so successful with ProLine products, you don't have any hair to use them with. Thank you so much. God bless you.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet. I want to convey my most profound respects to our honoree tonight and to all of you. It has fallen my lot, my responsibility, and my privilege tonight to lead us to the throne of grace and to celebrate the faithfulness of our God who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we may ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. As we bow our heads to pray, we thank him approaching the Thanksgiving season, approaching the end of a millennium, the birthing of a new beginning, the celebration of all that God has done for us as a people, as African-American people, as people of faith, for Como Cottrell and Paul Quinn College and all of us in here have a story that celebrates something that God has done in our lives. Let us pray. Father, what a privilege it is to stand here tonight and appreciate those that you have gifted to honor the gift and the giver of every gift. We bow our heads and we praise you for life, for health, and for strength. We have come over a bitter road, faced many obstacles, endured adversities, and still survived. And for that, we say thank you. We honor you because we recognize that it was not our intellect, our education, nor our ability. We honor you because we know that if it had not been for the Lord that was on our side, we would have been pulverized, demolished. The atrocities that have come against us would have prevailed if your hand had not been a shield against the weapons of the enemy. And so in the midst of our human celebration, our accolades and our honors, we bow our heads because we know that promotion does not come from the east nor the west, but oh God, it comes from you. As we face a new millennium, we do it asking you to hold our hand. We face the rising sun of a new day begun. Let us, oh God, march on until victory is won. I lift up this prayer in tribute to you in celebration of our honoree and appreciation to the strong spirit of God that has caused all of us to reach the place that we are in today. And as we go forward, give us the grace to lay hands on our children, to reproduce after our own kind, to breathe into them an eternal flaming fire that cannot be quenched by the adversities of life. And as we propel them toward that destiny, we bid even our children Godspeed. And we thank you because if you kept grandma, if you kept grandpa, if you kept me, you can keep my children too. Now take over the furtherance of the evening. Take over the furtherance of our business and the furtherance of our lives. We commit the keeping of all of our affairs into your hands. And we...